This story was written by an amazing boy in year three at Carlton Junior and Infant School. Otterline and the Camouflage Lizard Otterline, Mr Monroe and Bear settled down after having their supper. Mr Monroe was reading his newspaper and Otterline was combing Bear's hair. She loved brushing people's hair. She now brushes both Mr Monroe and Bear's hair. That gave Otterline more time to think. The next morning it was a sunny day so Mr Monroe, Otterline and Bear decided to go for a long walk. Mr Monroe saw a poster stuck to the tree trunk outside Fortune Cookies. He calmly pulled the poster off and folded it up. Then he put it under his hat and put his hat back on, as being tiny meant Mr Moreau had no pockets in his clothes. He then ran quickly to catch up with Otterline and Bear. Later that afternoon, Otterline was dusting her book collection when she felt a tap on her arm. It was Mr Monroe. He showed her the poster from the tree trunk outside Fortune Cookies. It read, Smashed Cake. Footprints left in a smashed celebration cake. Huge reward. Contact Mrs Buttercream, Apartment 12. Bear was reading the newspaper when he saw an article which read, Cake Smasher Strikes Again. Look at this, he said, pointing at the newspaper article. Why would someone go around smashing cakes? Mr Monroe ran over to see with his poster in his hand. Otterline, Mr Monroe and Bear were all thinking. Otterline asked to brush Mr Monroe's hair so it could help her think. The next morning, the three of them went for a walk again. Outside Mrs Buttercream's bakery was a huge crowd of people so the three of them quickly ran over to see what all the fuss was about. A huge cake on the counter had been smashed to pieces with crumbs all over the bakery floor. Mr Monroe noticed a trail of crumbs. Let's follow the trail, he whispered quietly to the other two. They all followed the trail of crumbs. It led to the end of the road and then vanished. Disappointed, they all went home. Otterline asked to brush Mr Monroe's and Bear's hair, and Otterline began to think. The next day, another cake had been smashed again. This was the sixth cake of the week, and Mrs Buttercream was really upset. Bear noticed today there was a trail of buttercream footprints. They followed the trail, which led to a tree house two streets away. However, they couldn't see anyone in the tree house. This is strange said Otterline looking really confused. Off they went home again. Tonight we will capture this cake criminal. Be ready at six o'clock sharp with your binoculars and walkie-talkies, she said to Mr Monroe and Bear. As soon as the sun was setting, the three of them went and took their positions. Bear was in the bushes at the end of the road camouflage with leaves so he would blend in. Mr Monroe was hiding in a tree near the tree house and Otterline was opposite the bakery watching the bakery from behind a tree trunk. Mrs Buttercream has closed the bakery and left. No activity yet, whispered Otterline on the walkie-talkie. She kept watching the cake in the bakery through the window. Suddenly she saw a bite being taken out of the cake but she couldn't see anyone there. It was as if the person was invisible. More of the cake had been eaten and there was a horrible mess on the floor. Otterline kept watching and watching, waiting for the criminal to escape from the bakery, but nothing happened. Early in the morning, Mrs Buttercream came to start baking in her bakery. As she opened up and went in, she gave a loud shriek at the mess she saw. Otterline was looking very carefully through her binoculars. She saw footprints again leaving the bakery, but she could see no one. Criminal on the move, she shouted on the walkie-talkie. Coming to the end of the street, Bear. Letting the footprints go a bit ahead of him, Bear started to follow. The footprints were taking him back to the treehouse. Be ready, Mr Monroe, said Bear on his walkie-talkie. Mr Monroe was hiding in the treehouse in a basket a bit bigger than him. 
The footprints climbed into the treehouse and Bear kept watch from a few trees away. To his surprise, a lizard appeared out of nowhere. Gotcha, shrieked Mr Monroe, jumping on top of him and capturing him in a brown bag. Bear quickly climbed up to the treehouse, grabbing the sack and carrying it down. Mr Monroe followed. They took the captured lizard back to the bakery where Otterline was comforting Mrs Buttercream. We have found the criminal that has been destroying your cakes, Mrs Buttercream, said Mr Monroe. Let's wait for the baking police to get here. They can question him. Mr Lizard, why have you been smashing all of Mrs Buttercream's lovely cakes? asked the officer. It's because I have never in my life have I had any birthday cakes on my birthday and every time I go past the bakery it makes me very jealous so I decided to camouflage into my surroundings and sneak into the bakery every night. I didn't want anyone to have a cake to celebrate with because I didn't either. Everyone felt really sorry for him even though what he had done was not very nice. The baking police let him off with a little punishment because it was the first time he had done a bad thing. He had to clean the bakery for Mrs Buttercream every day for two months. Mrs Buttercream even taught him how to bake cakes and even let him take one home with him. Everyone, look what I've got. I have made dessert for dinner tonight, yelled Lizard as he entered. Otterline, Mr Monroe and Bear were waiting at the dinner table for Lizard. Mmm, that looks yummy, said Bear. Let's quickly eat dinner so we can tuck in to dessert, said Lizard excitedly, licking his lips. They all happily ate dinner and dessert. And that was the end to another day at Otterline's house. Wonder who will be next to join their family?